This is a quick guide to the Pro Tools version of the BBC SO template created by Christian for Logic. I will be demonstrating the hybrid version of the template. There will also be an all-in-one version and a stripped out template that you can add your own libraries to. All tracks are inactive when you open the session, so as not to crash a system that doesn't have enough RAM for a full load. To enable a track, right click and select Make Active. To enable multiple tracks, select all the tracks you want, right click and select Make Active. Similarly, to disable a track, right click and select Make Track Inactive. Following the hybrid approach, each instrument track has the relevant articulations assigned in the plugin, with Mix 1 selected and the tree mics up, but not activated. The output of each instrument is routed to the relevant bus of each section. These are then sent via aux sends to various FX tracks, with some starting point plugins that can be replaced with your own preference. All these tracks are then routed to a summing bus. There are five labelled summing buses and four extra to add other libraries or audio as required. The nine stereo masters are routed to a bus that has a compressor and EQ to get started, again as a guide to be replaced with your own preference. The stereo mix then feeds a mastering limiter and then to the monitor outputs. When it comes to printing the audio, there are tracks set up to receive the dry stems and the wet mix of each section, as well as the full mastered mix and a click. When printing the audio, I would recommend listening through the print monitor and muting the track monitor. To show just the tracks in a group, control click the name of the group in the groups list. To add a group of tracks to the display, control shift click the name. If you wish to record multiple tracks at the same time, groups have been created. Make the group active by clicking its name. Now when you put one of the tracks in record, the others will follow, and you can play all the instruments at the same time, useful for string pads. I've also created the correct notation settings for each instrument in the score window, so if you wish to print a part out for a musician, it will be in the correct format. The sessions can be downloaded from the links in the description. Please leave any suggestions in the comments below.